Welcome to Gia Systems North America's service video on how to calibrate an LDS linear displacement sensor in an OmniPanel. To begin the calibration process, you need to log in to service mode on your panel. To do that, you tap at the bottom of the screen, select service, and log in. Password will be specific to your site. Now, if you have a variable VI machine, we're going to manually force the output to energize the unload solenoid. If you don't have a variable VI, you can skip this part. We're going to access the input output rack by pressing the service button. Typically, the variable VI unload is going to be on one DO or one digital output slice. So we're going to tap on that slice. We're going to look for VI decrease solenoid. We're going to manually energize it. Now we're going to go to the configuration tab. Across the top, we're going to click on sensors. On this screen, we're looking for capacity slide position, and we're going to tap on it. This gives us access to the oil pump and the load unload solenoids. To begin the procedure, we're going to turn the oil pump on and the unload solenoid. Now we're going to move over to the Linear Displacement Sensor, or LDS, which is typically at one of two locations on a Gaia screw compressor. The first location is underneath the shaft, the second location on the side. There's a silver cap on the top that we're going to unscrew. Beneath that you'll see two LEDs and a button. To enter calibration mode, we're going to press and hold the button down for seven seconds. The red LED will flash once every five seconds to let you know that you're in calibration mode. You now have five minutes to complete the calibration before it times out. We're going to move to the panel and look at the raw signal milliamps. If they've stopped moving, we're at minimum position and we can calibrate minimum position. To do that, we're going to press the button one time on the LDS. Now we'll return to the panel and we're going to hit the load button to force the slide valve to maximum position. We're going to watch the raw signal milliamps. When they stop moving, our slide valve has reached maximum position. We're going to push the button on the LDS two times to set max position. At this point, the LDS will reboot. When it comes back up, you should see at or near 20 milliamps on your raw signal. Now we can save 100% on the panel. To do that, we're going to press Save High Offset. Now we're going to unload down to zero so that we can set the zero position. Once the milliamps stop moving, we'll be at zero position, and we can now hit Save Low Offset to save the zero. At this point, the LDS and the Omni Panel are both calibrated. Thank you.